Hi there, and welcome to the Main Street Show here on AUTV20. I'm your host, Gracie Wilson. Thanks for tuning in. Joining me today is Jennifer Marquette, the Executive Director of the Ashland County Historical Society. Jennifer, thank you so much for being here. Thank you for having me. Absolutely. So to start off, can you just tell us a little bit about the Historical Society and what it is? Sure. So the Ashland County Historical Society is devoting to preserve um, all the historic artifacts and the history of Ashland. Um, we were founded on May 26, 1951. Um, prior to that, there was a historical society here in town, but they didn't have a physical building. So um, we're very lucky to have the facilities that we have today. Yeah, absolutely. And you kind of mentioned that before it didn't really have a building. So how did the society as we know it today kind of get started? So Effie Myers um, and the Myers family founded a company called the Effie Myers and Brother Pump Company. And that's really what launched Ashland and put them on the map. They literally had thousands of employees and they sold pumps all over the world. Other companies sprang up in Ashland as an offshoot of the Effie Myers and Brother Company. So there were printing companies, um, there was a pharmaceutical company um, called Hessen Clark. Um, the printing company was the Garber Company, so these larger companies kind of sprang off of um, Effie Myers and Brother Company. So um, one of the homes that is now our mansion or our manor house at the Historical Society belonged to the Myers family. The Myers family left that building to Ashland College at the time, and for a time, that building was the home of the Ashland College president, um, Mr. Clayton. Great. After that happened, the college no longer wanted to maintain that building, and the Ashland County Historical Society was interested in purchasing it, and so we did. And for a long time, it was the only building that we owned. Later, um, next to that same piece of property, a professor here at Ashland College, Ashland University, her name was Eloise Noonan, she left a very generous gift to the Ashland County Historical Society, and we were able to build another building. So we now have three buildings on our premises near our downtown area, which includes a manor house, once owned by the Effie Myers um, and Brother Company, um, another building, which is the Eloise Noonan House that was built in 1979, which is our administrative offices. We have a carriage house, and recently, within the last three years, we acquired the property out at Freer Field here in Ashland, and we have the Freer home out there that was a former children's home. So we have a lot of interesting properties full of history. Absolutely. And so I know that you are from Ashland, yes. born and raised. Why did you decide to stick around all these years? So I really didn't stick around. Um, for 36 years, I was off working for other companies, um, some of them Ashland-based companies, but I was working for other companies um, all across the United States and Canada um, in the human resources area, and I decided to retire. And after that time, um, I was looking for something to do, and someone approached me and said, we have a very interesting job at the Historical Society. Would you like to come maybe lead us into the next generation of things that we would like to do here. So I said, sure, that sounds like fun, and that's how I ended up at the Historical Society. Excellent. And what is the importance of having a historical society in a community like Ashland? So the Historical Society provides a lot of interesting things for people to do. Um, we have guest speakers. Um, we have programs for people. We have school children who come and tour the museum. We have a lot of interesting artifacts to look at, but we also have a lot of books. We have a lot of written history, and I think it's important for a community to know where they came from so that they know where they're going in the future. Yeah. Um, so there's a lot of interesting letters written by people who lived here long ago. Um, there are a lot of things just from our community that are artifacts that are interesting to look at. So it's a lot of fun to come down and see what we have. One of our most interesting collections that was left to us by the Thornburgs um, is an insect collection. There's over 12,000 specimens, and we believe that we have one of the largest private insect collections in the United States, and you can see all of that at the Historical Society. Wow, absolutely. And in addition to the one that you just mentioned, the insect collection, is there anything that kind of comes to mind as maybe your favorite piece of Ashland history? 
Wow, that's a tough one because there's so many interesting things to look at down there. And I might just preface that by saying people come down and they see our museum and they have no idea of all of the things that are down there. And when you work there, every day you're tempted to go down a rabbit hole because anything that you pick up has some sort of interesting historical story that goes along with it. And then one thing leads to another. So um, it's really hard to say what my favorite collection might be. But in the Noonan house upstairs, we have a streetscape Ashland. And it represents a lot of different businesses that would have been in town on Main Street at the turn of the century from 1800 to 1900. And that might be my favorite part of the museum because there's just so many interesting things to see up there. Yeah, absolutely. And what do you hope to see kind of for the future of the Historical Society going forward? So I think museums today um, face a lot of challenges because people today aren't interested in just going and looking at old things. They want to hear a story. They want to have something interactive to do. They want to be entertained. And, um, you know, our goal is in the future to be able to have things where people can come to our museum and we have interactive exhibits and we have interactive events. We provide interesting guest speakers um, and we really provide a service for the community and we are viewed as part of the community that people want to go to and have something fun to do. We have cemetery walks where we have portrayers in the cemetery portraying the person that they're standing in front of their grave, usually interesting people from Ashland. Um, next week, we're having Colonel Springer come to town, who is a famous astronaut um, from Ashland, and he's coming to town next week. Um, he's going to be speaking at the high school little theater. A lot of people are very interested in that. Not only is he an astronaut, but he's also a Vietnam War veteran, and he has a lot of interesting stories to tell people. So those are the kind of events that we would like to sponsor in the community. Yeah, absolutely. And finally, is there anything, like, anywhere that people can go for more information, people who are interested in finding out more, where can they go? Sure. So our website is www.ashlandhistory.org. You can always call us, 419-289-3111, um, or just come down and see us at 420 Center Street here in Ashland. Um, we're open Monday through Friday, um, 10 to 3 are touring hours. There's usually someone there every day, 8 to 4, um, Monday through Friday. And then on Saturdays, we're open from 10 to 3. Excellent. Thank you so much. It's been lovely speaking with you today. Thank you for coming and being here and talking with me. Yeah, thank you for having me. Absolutely. That is all for this episode of The Main Street Show here on AUTV20. Until next time, be sure to follow us all across social media at AUTV20. I'm Gracie Wilson, and we'll see you next time.